Hey everybody, Pete Greco with Productive Corporation. Today we're going to talk about avoiding RDP brute force attacks. So the issue here is there's a lot of RDP machines facing the internet directly, making it easy and accessible for end users to log in and get their work done, but also making it easy and accessible for attackers to compromise and gain access to your network via those machines. There's currently over 150,000 RDP username and passwords available for sale on the internet, and this puts a lot of folks in jeopardy, and that number is growing daily. So there's a couple things we can do to stop this. Uh, the first thing is taking advantage of VPN access only. Don't allow access unless it's through the VPN. The next step that we want to take here, though, is enabling MFA or two-factor authentication uh, for those VPNs to make sure that weak passwords are still not an issue for access to the network. This is a great way to do it if you have a lot of end users who need to connect from different spots or have changing IP. So they're not always working from home. Even if they are, they might still have a dynamic IP address that's hard to keep track of. So that's where this works out well. The next step here is whitelisting IP addresses in your firewall. And this works great when users are connecting from the same static IP. And this can be a setup where you're only allowing connectivity from allowed or proven networks. Let's take a look on how to set this second step up in an XG firewall. All right, we're logged on to our XG. We're going to go down to firewall rules. We're going to add a, a business application rule. We're going to choose for this RDP policy, DNAT full NAT load balancing. Give it a name. We can put in a description here if we need to. We're going to choose WAN as the source zone. Now I've already created a protocol where I've put in my personal external IP address, so I'm going to choose that here by me. We're going to choose our internet port, and we're going to choose the Microsoft RDP and Terminal Services protocol here. And this is going to be to our allowed machine, Big Bopper. And I can also find that by IP address versus machine name. And we're going to put that in the LAN zone. And that's all we need to do. Now I can add in as many IP addresses as I need to here. Uh, the best method is to keep it limited and under control. All right, thanks for watching our video featuring RDP. If you want to learn more about XG Firewall or RDP Access, please reach out to your Productive Corp account exec or check us out, help at ProductiveCorp.com. Thanks.